Hello and welcome back to the Stationary Dev. Today we have another fountain pen review. As you can see, it's a Pelican. And uh, today we're actually going to be reviewing the Pelican M800 in the brown black uh, finish, which was sort of, I guess, a limited edition finish for the M800. Um, I got this pen a while back. I got it, I bought it from Pen Boutique when they had a uh, is either a clearance sale or maybe just a, a regular sale um, on it. But uh, it's been an absolute joy right from the box ever since, and and uh, you know has a a good spot in my collection. So today we're gonna be taking a look at it, and inking it up, and we'll see uh, the parts and features of it. Uh, the packaging, as you can see, is just sort of their standard. Pelican uh, packaging has that sort of uh, fake wood kind of cardboard box. This one actually pulls off here and you are greeted with a little uh, elastic pin pouch. Some of them like kind of tie, uh, have, have some laces and, and tie, um, but kind of a nice little pin pouch. There's like the receipt um, and then it's the all the wrappings and stuff, your use and care guides, your uh, warranty information, the standard sort of affair from Pelican. I think that's just about it. Yeah, the rest is just the, the bottom of the box there. So we're going to put that up, not waste too much time on it. But it's nice that they give you a, a pin, a little pin case, a little pin pouch um, if you want it. We're going to put that up and get right to the pen, because that's the part we care about. So, here is the Pelican M800 in the brown and black uh, finish. It's called brown and black just because it has brown and black stripes. Not super creative as far as the name goes, but it's a beautiful pen, the M800. Uh, it is their second largest pin, the second largest pin that Pelican makes. So this is the M800. They also have the M1000, which is a little bit bigger. Um, and uh, it's also the second largest nib that they make. So this is more of like a regular size nib. We'll see how it compares um, later on. But then their M1000 is sort of their big old um, chunk of a pin huge nib on it and everything. This is just sort of a large pen. Um, the 800 in it, um, the, the 00 signifies that this has gold trim. As you can see, it'd be an M805 if it had silver trim. Uh, but this one has the gold trim to match the uh, brown finish. And you can see it has some lovely sort of variation in, in those uh, stripes there. Really nice pen. Um, I'm a sucker for brown pins, so I knew that I had to have this one. I, I look out for it's kind of the special editions of the Pelicans, just because they're a little bit more unique than their usual offerings. Um, this is my only gold nib Pelican that I've had. Um, I've tried two other uh, M200s, which I really like as well. Uh, but this is my only gold nib Pelican that I've tried. It has some significant weight to it. You'll notice that when you pick it up, it has some heft to it. And that's because the piston parts inside are, are all metal. Um, and so that gives a lot of weight, specifically to the back sort of half of the pen. Um, it does have a lot of weight, but it, for a plastic, you know, pen, it, uh, it's got a good amount of heft to it. And um, this one, some of them are transparent in between the colored uh, lines, but this one is brown and black stripes, so it's not transparent. You can't see the ink level or anything uh, through there. There's sort of a close-up of those beautiful stripes. Oh, camera suddenly decided not to focus. There you go. Um, on the top, you just have the pelican uh, symbol with the, the pelican and its chick. The standard sort of step design for the finial there. The pelican clip. In the shape of a pelican, very functional. Not spring-loaded or anything, but still a very functional clip. Around the band here you have pelican, Suvron, Germany. And in the back, the piston knob is just rounded off plastic. It's got a couple gold bands there. There's a little bit of step 
from the stripes to the back of the pin there. But really effective design, really classy. Pelican nails are the classy uh, look, I think, for pins. It uh, uncaps in one rotation, which is convenient there. Just one rotation, which is um, kind of the the, uh, the standard for all Pelican pins. They all kind of have that one rotation, which makes them really convenient. Even though it's a screw cap, it's still really quick to just take it off in one motion and be ready to write there. Um, the Pelican section for me is one of the, I just really like the Pelican section for some reason, uh, this sort of rounded, uh, sort of lip that it comes to, it just kind of works for me. I don't know. It just it seems like a really functional, really classy. Um, I don't know. I just like that section shape. That's just a me thing though. Um, <clears throat> It is a smooth plastic section, but it does have that lip there. The threads are kind of a non-issue. Uh, really, they're, they're not hidden or anything. You do kind of feel them, but they're not. I don't think it's, it's uncomfortable or anything by any means. Um, underneath the hood, so to speak, you have the beautiful Pelican two-tone 18 karat gold nib this one is an extra fine my preference pelican for me kind of nails the nib design they have some of the prettiest nibs in my opinion um and that's just that's just me but i think they have gorgeous nibs and they all look good i love the the swirly design they're unique um and they just look classy um it's about the same size as something like a platinum 3776 uh, nib so it's not like any bigger than a than a regular nib as you would expect there you can kind of compare the two but it's about the same size the pelicans tend to be a little bit more rounded on the edges a little bit more uh, I don't know streamlined maybe um, compared to usual nib size but it's not an overly large nib or anything like that but it is a good nib so uh, you have that large feed it's that sort of bulb bulbous feed typical of pelicans and then they're gorgeous nibs they make their nibs themselves so they're in-house they're unique to um, pelican no one else has these nibs and so um, you know they're they're always a joy and something unique that, that you should try out if you're interested also with all of the pelican nibs on their M models they all screw out and so that makes it really easy to clean out the the barrel on the inside to clean out the nib and feed and to also swap so if i wanted to you know be adventurous and maybe get an italic nib or something like that i could just easily screw this one out and put the the other one in and so that's another kind of feature for pelicans is easy to take out and swap and, and move around nibs and stuff like that um <clears throat> the piston as far as the piston action goes it is gloriously smooth and effortless. I don't know how to describe it other than that, um, but it's just super, you very rarely get a smoother and easier um, piston experience than what you get with a Pelican pin. I think they've perfected the, the piston mechanism, in my opinion. Um, so let's get to inking this thing. And what I've chose to ink it with I usually ink this, or I have in the past at least, uh, inked it with usually a brown or a blue, sometimes something like Roaring Cleaner, or Gold Groon or something is nice in it as well. Uh, but today I'm going to the brown, because I need a brown in rotation here. And I decided to go for a sample that I have from Van Ness that I need to try. It's KWZ uh, Honey. And uh, it looks to be a solid ink, but I think it'll match up with this pen really well. Sometimes I match my ink, sometimes I don't. This just happens to be a day where I do. So here we're going to try to fill this on camera without making a gigantic mess on the desk. Let me get napkin at the ready. And let's give this a little bit of a dunk. And we can kind of test 
how much ink this thing holds. So I'm just going to do one rotation. If I wanted to get a little bit more in there, I could let it out and suck, on, suck in some more. But I'm just going to do that one rotation there. Let me smell. Mm, I always love the smell of KWZ inks. So they got that vanilla smell to it. Some people don't like it for some reason, but I love the, the vanilla smell. It beats the usual chemically smell that you get from inks, I think. Some people like that smell too, so who knows? Teach their own. All right, I think we got a relatively cleaned off pen. Another thing I didn't mention, but uh, you can probably see, um, you know, you can see that there's some little like, I guess, micro scratches, and that's just from the, you know, screwing and unscrewing the cap, and that just happens right around um, this part. You can see sort of those, those micro scratches going around, but that's just something that comes with using a pen, which if you got a pen, you should use it. All right. And we used, I'd say this started off as a four milliliter sample. And I'd say that took about a milliliter and a half on just one rotation. Like I said, I could probably, you know, um, let it out and back in again, and it'd probably get a little bit more. Um, so maybe closer to two milliliters for a full, full fill. But for my purposes, that's good enough. Now to test it out, we have our usual Rodia dot pad here. I'll move you just a little bit closer for this section. And we'll give it a little bit of a writing test with this KWZ ink. All right, so we have the Pelican M800, just the brown, black. And we have a 18 carat extra fine nib. The ink we have loaded up here. KBZ Honey. Which is actually a little bit lighter than I thought it might be. A little bit lighter, a little bit more yellower, but maybe that's just because... I'm using it in this extra fine nib, but it does have that great sort of shading that it's known for, but it is accurate to honey color. It's a lot more honey, yellowy honey color than um, sort of my favorite, one of my favorite browns, which is the Diamine Tobacco Sunburst, which is still kind of in this yellowy brown category, but this is definitely lighter um, than that. But it did, it, it's really true to its name, the honey there. Let's give it a little bit of a writing test. I'll hush up so you can hear maybe. Five boxing wizards jump quickly. For an extra fine, it actually is very, very smooth. Minimal feedback. Pretty wet. Let's do a little wetness test here. With that ink. So, I'd say medium to wet in terms of wetness. Um, not overly wet. It's not a fire hose. Um, but it is sufficiently wet, I would say. It uh, writes smooth in every direction, and no actually, no complaints. There's just a little bit of audible feedback, but I mean, it's it's in terms of writing, it's it's really really smooth. Now, for um, in terms of like bounce or flex, maybe I, I'd say there's a little bit, maybe see a little bit there. Um, but I've, I've heard, like I said, this is the only gold nib Pelican that I have, but I've heard that the M800 is a lot uh, more firm than something like the M600 or the M400, which are both two different other gold nibs that Pelican does. I've heard those are a little bit more bouncy, 
Um, this one is, is pretty firm, which is actually what I prefer. I don't really like super flexy or super bouncy nibs. Um, so a uh, little bit of bounce, but, but not too bad. In terms of line variation, there's no pressure. There's if I give it a little pressure, like I said, no real bounce or, or flex or line variation. It just makes it wetter. And you can see that there. Not really any any variation. Um, but smooth, very smooth, um, nice flow. I've never had this thing dry out or anything like that. Um, and then, you know, little, little bounce to it. All right. That ink is starting to grow on me a little bit. That shading is insane on it. It's just a little bit lighter than I thought it would, but I think it's a good match for this pen, actually. It's kind of a honey-colored ink and a honey-colored pen. So look at that. So on to the conclusion. Uh, what do I think? So in terms of price for the M800, um, it has a wide variety of prices depending on the, the model, the finish, where you buy it, if you're buying it in Europe, or if you're buying it, you know, outside of, of Europe, where it might be a little bit more expensive for import costs and stuff like that. Um, but it varies anywhere between $400 and $700. Uh, like I said, $700 might be pushing it a little bit in terms of, of worth, but I still think it's worth it anywhere in the $400 to $600 price range. Like I said, I got this one on sale, if not clearance, because I don't think you can find the brown black you know, new anymore. Um, and so it's, it's absolutely worth, it's a solid pen. I mean, you're not going to be disappointed with Pelicans. Um, they they have excellent build, excellent parts, excellent, the nibs, you know, the nibs are unique to Pelicans. So it's its own sort of experience, I think. Um, <clears throat> they have a range of different finishes. So they have their basic finishes, which are, you know, the stripes and, you know, black, uh, and then depending on the trim, the 805 or the 800. Um, but they also do all the special editions, but some of them are, you know, full body designs. Some of them are just special stripes like this one or the tor tortoise shell versions. So they have, I think they have something for everybody, um, but they're excellent, excellent pens. They're well built. They're going to last you a long, long time. They're not very flashy, but they're absolutely great quality, reliable writing instruments, um, and just really excellent pens. And I plan on, you know, adding a couple more to my to my uh, rotation. I want to get a M600. I want to get a M400 eventually. I know when the time comes, but uh, probably not anytime soon. Um, <clears throat> but those are on the list as well, and. Um, as far as the M800, it might be a little bit too big. It might be a little bit too heavy for somebody if you don't like bigger pens. Um, but like I said, there's something for everybody. There's the M600, which is sort of a good medium size. There's the M400, which is their smallest size. Um, so there's there's something for everyone there. If you're interested in Pelican or think about pick one up, I, I highly recommend them. They're, they're great pens. Um, little pricey, but, but worth it in my opinion. Uh, anyway... That's the end of this review. Let me know what you think about Pelicans. If you have an M800, what you think of it. <clears throat> um, or if you're considering a Pelican, uh, leave any comments or questions that you have below, and I'll try to get back to you. Uh, also, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate the, uh, <clears throat> the support and everything that that gives. It's a free, easy thing to do. It takes no time or uh, no effort on your part and really helps out the channel. So um, that's it for this review. And until next time, I'll catch you later.